Hello, welcome to Chapter 6. Chapter 6 is Small Business Entry, Paths to Full-Time Entrepreneurship. And we start out with describing the strategies for going into full-time business. So people may set a goal for a business and then determine the resources that will be required to reach the goal. This is referred to as predictive reasoning. And people may assess the assets available to them and the limits under which they must operate to establish a goal to be obtained and the methods of reaching the goal. This is referred to as effectuation. There's five ways that people get into small business management. You may start a new business, buy an existing business, franchise a business, inherit a business, or hired by a professional manager of a small business. There are rewards and pitfalls of starting a new business. Advantages, a startup begins with a clean slate and provides the owner with the opportunity to use the most up-to-date technologies and new unique products or services. It can be deliberately kept small to limit possible losses. Disadvantages, a startup business has no initial name recognition will require significant time to become established, can be very difficult to finance, cannot easily gain credit, and may not have experienced managers and workers. There are 12 methods for increasing startup success. Starting a new business from scratch can be made easier by using methods to reduce initial capital requirements and to gain access to business and industry experience, such as starting a business in your home, to reduce startup costs, having a partner to share capital, and making an alliance with your current employer to gain access to industry sources. Comparing the opportunities with the pitfalls of purchasing an existing business, the advantages are established customers provide immediate sales and cash inflows, Disadvantages, it's difficult to determine the value of a small business. Existing managers and employees may resist change. The reputation of the business may be a hindrance. The business may be declining because of changes in technology. And the business may be obsolete. Four methods for purchasing an existing business are a buyout, a buy-in, where you acquire only part of the ownership, key resource acquisition, also called bulk asset purchases, the, the manner in which sole proprietorship may be purchased, and a takeover involves purchasing enough of the target business to gain control. The advantages and disadvantages of buying a franchise. Franchise is a legal agreement that allows a business to be operated using the name and business procedures of another firm. There are four basic forms of franchising, trade name, product distribution, conversion, and business format. Master franchises require opening multiple stores within a spe specified area. The advantages are it's proven successful, training and management support, and less risk. Disadvantages, drawbacks include little control of business, marketing and operations, and success is determined by the success of the franchisor. Family-owned businesses tend to fail after the death or retirement of the founder. Those family businesses that make the transition from founder to the next generation take specific actions to organize a business. Entry into ownership by employee managers may be accomplished in three ways. Leaving present employment to start up new business, buying out or buying into a business, or contracting a franchising relationship. Exit strategies include termination and transfers. Strategies like walkaways and pass-offs don't produce financial outcomes for the original owners. Other types of sales produce revenue for owners. Owners may work out outstanding debts or face bankruptcy. A lot of owners plan ahead for their exit. That's what I've definitely witnessed. They plan ahead and things work very smooth. So 
that's a synopsis of how to get in and out of a small business.